cambiamos de, de ponente, también de registro idiomático. Eh, voy a, a presentarla en, en español. Eh, como hemos visto antes, Sala Sepanen es la actual presidenta de la Asociación Europea de Heridas, de la Yuma, y ella nos va a hablar en su presentación, lo voy a decir en inglés y ahora razonaré por qué, to, to outline Yuma's role in patient advocacy. Eh, lo he dicho en inglés porque muchas de estas palabras las puedo traducir, ella nos va a definir cuál es el rol de la Yuma en algo que no sé definir muy bien en inglés, y lo hablábamos antes, espero que ella ahora en su presentación eh, lo haga, que es ese término que se llama advocacy y que antes también ha, ha mencionado Georgina. When you want. Thank you, Pepe. It is actually quite nice to continue after Georgina says that we need to advocate the patients to be able to get them the rights what they need. Uh, Yuma is a non-profit society which is established to be a European level forum for professionals who work with wound patients and scientists who are interested in and involved in research that focuses on wound healing and care of wound patients. The overall objective is to promote better care and treatment for the patients suffering from wounds. The number of the patients with wounds is increasing. Despite of that, the patients with wounds are not recognized as a patient group same way as diabetic or the patients with neurologic problems. And thus, the care of wound patients is not necessarily well coordinated in national, neither in regional or local level. The patients with wounds are cared in primary and specialized care and more often at home settings. Many professionals and non-professionals, so-called informal carers, have a role in the patient's care. It is obvious that chronic non-healing wounds impact the patient's life by decreasing the functional capacity and quality of life. The patients with chronic wounds are vulnerable and they do not necessarily have power or capacity to look after their rights. Yuma has a mission to make a difference in wound care as a benefit for the patients. Yuma works con continuously to improve knowledge and practice of wound care to be based on the best available evidence and to improve European wound patients' quality of life. We pursue identifying and advocating the highest quality of treatment available and its cost effectiveness from a multidisciplinary point of view. Yuma strives to be the organization that citizens, patients, professionals, governments, health services, and educational institutes comes to for advice, expertise, and opinion, opinion in Europe. One of the main goals of Yuma is to facilitate professionals to be able to support patients to play a key role in prevention of wounds and in good care of them. The patient-centered care is set as an objective in care delivery in many European countries' health policies. Patient-centered care supports active involvement of the patients and their families in care and in decision-making about individual options for treatment. Institute of Medicine defines patient-centered care as providing care that is respectful of and responsive to individual patients' preferences, needs, and values, and ensuring that patients' values guide all clinical decision. So the patient-centered care is about much more than simply educating patients about the diagnosis and potential treatment or health behavior. Patient-centered care means considering patients' cultural traditions, personal preferences, values, family situation, and social circumstances, and lifestyle, and integrate this into the clinical decision-making. Patient-centered care is also one of the overarching goals of the health advocacy. In addition to safer medical system, 
and greater patient involvement in healthcare delivery and design. Knowing that non-consumer -con stakeholders often don't know what matters most to the patients regarding their ability to get and stay well. Care that is truly patient-centered cannot be achieved without active patient engagement at every level of the care design and implementation. Patient-centered care leads to higher level of patient engagement and engaged patients seems to have better perceived health outcomes. Patient advocacy enables and supports patient engagement. Patient advocacy is a concept that most of us think that we do understand, but probably we don't really get a comprehensive scope of it. In its simplest term, patient-centered, uh, patient advocacy regards any activity which ultimately benefits as a patient. Using this definition, it can apply to caregiving for an individual patient, to groups that develop policies and advices that help patients, to government groups that develop legislation to improve systems on processes of the patient. The role of patient advocacy aims to empower the patients and enable them to be active partners in their own care. That is what Yuma emphasizes on. To make a difference in patients' engagement in their care, Yuma regards the role of patient advocacy very important, and thus Yuma has in recent years focused on intensively to improvement of the patients with wounds in the agenda of the European Union policy. Wound care is the patient safety and pressure ulcer prevention agenda. No. And, wound, and uh, Yuma has been person collaboration with UCOMED Advanced Wound Care Sector Group. In, many, in May 2014, former Yuma president, Professor Gina More, presented the workshop in the prevention of the healthcare as associated infections. And the Yuma policy paper on patient safety and pressure ulcers is available for download in the Yuma webpage. This workshop was hosted by European Parliament with Oreste Rossi, and the material of this meeting is also available in the European Parliament website. Furthermore, Yuma has now joined the newly initiated Joint Action on Chronic Diseases and program of the European Commission, which had the kick of meeting here in Madrid this year, January. Yuma is invited to join this program as a collaborating partner organization with objective to advocate for increased focus on diabetes complication, in particular diabetic food. This program integrates a large number of the European health authorities European Association, research institutions, and Yuma expects to join forces with these other partners and especially associations to advocate for actions to improve the prevention and treatment of the major complications of diabetes. Yuma also continues the participation in the Innovation Partnership on Active and Healthy Aging. Yuma has been a partner of the Action Group on Integrated Care since the beginning of 2012. The activities of European Innovative Partnership on Active and Health Aging are divided into the several working groups of which Yuma continues to follow those of the workforce development and care paths. Also the Yuma documents home care and managing wounds as a team will be shared with the working group members. In addition, Yuma advocacy role in the European Union policy making level Yuma also works on advocate improving professional skills and attitude to empower patients. Patient empowerment is the granting of the patients to take an active role in the decision 
made about his or her own health care. Patient empowerment requires a patient to take responsibility for aspects of care, such as respectful communications with one's doctors and other care providers, patient safety, evidence gathering, smart consuming, and shared decision making. To ease patients' participation and empowerment, different countries have made laws and run multiple campaigns to arise awareness of these matters, for example, focusing on the patient rights and responsibilities and the possibilities to give patients an op opportunity to take control of their health. The European Union has took this issue seriously and since 2005 it has regularly reviewed the questions of the patient rights through various policies with the cooperating with the World Health Organization. Yuma has been focused on the patient perspective in patient outcome group activities and has established in 2010 the working group for the patient panel, which aims to define and develop communication between the professionals and patients with wounds. The communication between patients professionals and informal carers is the key issue in the implementation of the patient-centered care. Patients who participate in shared decision-making are more likely to feel secure and may feel stronger sense of commitment to cover and to higher judgments of the quality of care. Furthermore, patients' participation leads to greater self-efficiency in patients. When a patient participates more in the decision-making process, the frequency of self-management behaviors increases, which leads in turn to the better health outcomes. When the patients and the family members work with health professionals as partners in the care, it is possible to achieve real partnership empowering of patient and family members, and encourage self-management. While professionals, patients, and family members are working alongside toward common goals and use effective strategies, the good results in care and also in prevention of re ulceration and quality of care are achieved. So thank you for your interest. Thank you very much, Sala. Muchas gracias. ¿Hay alguna pregunta para Sala en, entre la audiencia? <laughs> 